Hey guys, what is up? It is no help and welcome back to anyone can PVM today We are gonna be killing Zamorok the God Wars dungeon boss This boss is a boss. I really don't like but I really need the Zamorok spear The reason I don't like this boss is because he hits you like crazy and it is really a difficult boss to solo I'm not gonna be doing anything super sweaty in this video We're gonna be getting about two kill trips sometimes three kills depending on the uh, amount of damage we do So yeah, let's just go ahead and show you guys the gear in the inventory and how to get there okay so this is the gear that i take i take the serpentine helm you don't need to take this i just take this instead of taking an anti-poison potion i have the amulet of torture this could be replaced with uh, a fury blood fury or glory even fire cape i take the unholy blessing for my zamorok item um the arc light is pretty useful here hits hits uh, zamorok pretty well um and then i just bring some range kind of armor uh Kirill is probably the best option for here i don't have the Kirill bottom so i just bring some ancient chaps um for the shield slot i bring the crystal shield for extra defense you could just take the dragon defender if you want to hit a little bit harder i just actually recently swapped it out to the crystal shield just because you take a lot of damage here Barrows gloves and then primordial boots you could replace these with dragon boots and then the ring of suffering you could replace this with a berserker ring now as for the inventory i've got a dragon warhammer to spec the boss this helps a ton but it only helps when you hit so if you don't hit it's really you know it, it is what it is i also bring the ceradome and cape so that uh when I'm, when I'm getting my kill count um i can just put this on and then i'll have the zamorok and the ceradome and item so i won't get hit by all of the creatures while getting my kc then I have a super combat potion, three prayer potions, um, and then I bring some food. I like to bring the Karaman so I can double eat, but you don't need these. Then I just bring a Trollheim teleport as well as a way of escaping. I also wear my Dragon Warhammer while getting my kill count to, to save charges on the Arc Light. Okay, so now that we're all ready, let's go and to the Guard Wars dungeon and I'll show you where and how to get the kill count. So start by using a Trollheim teleport and running down the hill here. Very simple, especially if you got rune light, these, uh, they'll show you exactly where to click. The first time coming here, make sure to bring a rope, but I'm sure you guys have been to God Wars before. Climb the rocks. When you get up to here, put Pray from Range on so that these uh, trolls don't hit you, which is kind of annoying. And when you get here, either enter the crack or push the boulder. It doesn't really matter. Once you get up to here, if you don't have this warmth, you will take a little bit of damage, which is a little, which is annoying, but it is what it is. Put melee, Protect from Melee on against the Ice Wolves. And enter the God Wars dungeon. Now, to get over to the Zamorok Lair, you need to cross over this ice bridge. Now, when you cross over the ice bridge, you will take, um, you'll, you'll lose all of your prayer. So, I recommend getting your kill count in this area right here. Because you can actually use, like, Pidey, for example, to help you get your kill count a little bit faster. Now, what you're going to want to focus on is killing the imps, killing the ice fiends, and killing things with low HP that the other things are going towards. So, you need to get 40 kill count of Zamorok and this does take about five minutes it isn't the worst kc to get in the world but it does take about five minutes the other option for getting kc is if you hop the bridge right here um then you go to the zamorok fortress there is four imps that spawn in here which you can kill like the imps very quickly go back and forth you will lose a lot of your running energy but i just find it easier to go in here and kill the ice fiends kill the things that they're already damaging so yeah i'm gonna get myself 40 kc and i will be uh be back once we get that remember though to use your prayer here because you're gonna lose it anyways okay we got the 40 kill count now we took a little bit of damage our prayer is fully gone obviously and we're going to climb over these this ice bridge right now and if you didn't drain your prayer it would be drained now just keep the heads up for that and it will start to get darker if you don't have the Ceridomen's light. So it is what it is. I don't have that at the moment. So it's a little bit darker in here, but doesn't really affect anything. Just a little annoying. But anyways, go up to the, the room. And uh, th those are the imps that you'd be killing if you wanted to get the kill count in here. Could be useful if you want to get your champion scroll maybe. But I just find it easier to kill the ones out there. So let's get ready to kill the boss. 
So if you don't hit with your Dragon Warhammer, it's going to be kind of a brutal fight. So let's hope we get the attack off. So we're going to drink a combat potion, get our prayer up to a little bit. The thing with this boss is you want to kind of keep your prayer a little lower than normal because he has a special attack where he can drain your prayer. So you want to keep your health high and prayer kind of low, which is a kind of a weird mechanic. But anyways, we're going to put Pidey on and protect from melee and hope we get a Dragon Warhammer spec. So we're going to enter the room and nope so attempt two and no okay so with this boss it's similar to bandos where you want to hit him twice and then walk under him and that's pretty much the entire boss fight in a nutshell but it is it, you have to look out for a lot you can be really sweaty with this and prayer flick all the minions but i just want it to be a basic guide for beginners or casual players um i am hitting decent so not too bad so far but you can take some serious damage if you're if you're not paying attention so i just hit the minion there by accident make sure you're always hitting the boss <laughs> yeah see if you don't land the dragon warhammer spec it is a brutal fight you just don't hit and once you do hit it's not super high like a 30 30 there we go decent attack gonna eat up and attack the boss and attack the boss and there we go not hitting anything because the dragon war hammer didn't proc but it's okay we'll get the kill so yeah the, the thing about this boss is sometimes you only last one two kills but the thing about it is it's really good because the kc is super easy to get back so it's not too much of a loss if you can only get one or two kills in the trip but you might get two kills squeeze it in here Especially if the Dragon Warhammer procs the next time. But it's a very simple boss. Very similar to killing Bandos in my opinion. But. Watch out for your prayer. Because I said to keep it low. You can easily run out of the prayer here. As you can see he hit a 39 there. Which is crazy. Okay so once you kill them. Put Pray for Mage on. And kill the Black Demon. The Demons can do a lot of damage to you as well. So you got to keep an eye out for that. They are partly why this boss is so annoying. But the good thing about them is they can drop food. So pray at range, go to the range mi uh, minion right here. As you can see, they drop two of the uh, tuna potatoes, which can really help extend your trips here. I was able to get a four kill trip once just because I kept getting the food drops back to back. And now you could take the ancient prayers, blood barrage in between to extend your trips a little bit too. But I just right now I'm just finding it easier to melee them and get it over with this way. Okay, so once this guy's put, put Pray for <laughs> Mate or Melee on, perfect. So we got two food drops there, so we can easily get ourselves another kill. Alright, perfect. Okay, so not too, too bad so far. No drop, of course, never lucky. Once you get the full kill, you can pray at the Zamrock Altar to get your prayer back, which is very nice. And then we'll get ready to kill the boss next. Hopefully we hit a Dragon Warhammer spec this time, or else that's going to just be uh, another really slow and annoying fight. I'm going to sip up again just because. And 13 seconds, the boss will spawn. So let's get ourselves ready, put some Pidey back on. But as you can see, it's very simple. Anyone can actually do this, solo it. Just going to be very, very slow kills to get yourself the spear or whatever it is you're going for. There we go. We hit this time, so this should be a smoother fight. Maybe. <laughs> okay, perfect. We're already hitting more. As you can see, it's very accurate. Once you hit the Dragon War Hammer spec, you're a lot more accurate. Well, as you can see, we got stacked there for quite a bit of uh, damage, which is very unfortunate. Okay, go back in. Make 
yeah, he's you just get destroyed here. It'd be really fun to do this in a group, I I would think, because you take a lot less damage and you could get a lot more kills. But it's brutal, man, to do by yourself soloing it. I think it's even more brutal than General Gardor. Almost dead. Almost dead. You can tag him to make it a little bit easier to see, but watch out for that prayer. Perfect, got the kill. Yep, two kills. Maybe we could have got three or whatever it might be if we uh, hit the Dragon War Hammer that second time or the first time there. But yeah, not too bad. You could easily get three kill trips, obviously, just being casual at it. And uh, I wasn't doing anything overly complex in this video, just kind of the similar method of killing bandos. But. Yeah, I honestly think this boss is harder, not harder than Bandos, but this boss just hits you like a truck every single time. It's crazy. Uh, the amount of damage you take here is just wild, but let's kill these two minions and uh, yeah. Okay, and once you're done, you just teleport out. I use my construction cape, max cape, whatever it might be to just go to my house and then I can just rejuvenate and head back for another couple of kills. Well, I hope this helps you get your first couple of KC, whether it be for the diary or whether it be maybe you want a Zamorok Spear on your Iron Man account. Um, yeah, it's obviously this isn't like the most sweaty guide to get like 7-8 kill trips or using range or mage to extend your trips. This is just for the casual player who wants to get a couple kills a trip as their Iron Man account continues to grow. I'm hoping to get the uh, Zamorok and Spear myself within another 100 kills or so, so hopefully we can go and do that. If this video did help you, make sure to smash the like button and comment below. Thank you guys so much, and I will catch you in the next one. See ya later. Also, one thing I want to mention before I go is the amount of uh, Zamorok wines you get, wines of Zamorok you get, are awesome for the Iron Man account to make those ranging potions.